Well, here's another subtraction problem, but this time you're going to find out we have to borrow. First, we get our common denominator, which in this case is 6. 3 times 2 is 6. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 1 times 3 is 3. But you'll notice, oh, 2 minus 1, we can do. But we can't subtract 2 sixths minus 3 sixths. That would go into a negative, and this is not a negatives problem. So if you take 2 and 2 sixths, that's going to be 2 wholes plus 2 sixths. 1, 2. 2 wholes and 2 sixths. Well, we can take this whole right here, and we can chop it into sixths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So instead of having two holes, we now only have one hole. And instead of having two sixths, we now have 6 plus 2, which is 8 sixths. So we now have 8 sixths. Subtract 1 and 3 sixths. 1 minus 1 is 0. And 8 sixths minus 3 sixths is 5 sixths. And really, we don't need this zero anymore, so the final answer is 5 sixths.